So I decided to take a handful of pieces to consign at a local store and I'm changing up what I have in the house. We're really loving the function of this third bathroom. It's been amazing. You can see the hallway is empty. We're planning on just doing something different here. There is going to be a hallway makeover coming soon. Not anything too pricey, just changing up colors and making sense of this haul. But we're moving furniture out that I'm interested in selling and consigning and gonna be changing some pieces out. I plan on sharing a few DIYs and new builds. So here's a new frame. I'm gonna do some new art here on this wall and I'm gonna go ahead and place this rug underneath the bed. You've seen me many times make my bed, but I'm gonna go ahead and get sheets washed here and we're gonna be placing this rug underneath. You when you don't clean out from under your bed for too long, when you have a spool of ribbon and junk food wrappers and so much dust. Yeah. Here's the bed made and we have the rug placed underneath. It is only a six by nine, so it's not exactly the perfect size for this queen size bed. You're usually wanting an oversized, maybe a nine by 12 or an eight by 10, but Honestly, we had it from the living room. I have this air vent on the floor who just cramps my style. So we're just working with what we have. It is nice to wake up and have that shag rug underfoot. I think it's time to pull the plastic off this frame. Hang on. Can I unearth it? <laughs> I've been playing with this setup and um, seeing if I like it for a little while. I got rid of my um, lamp. I gave it to my boy and he's using it in his room because I really wanted to use this arch mirror which then had a little bit of a layering effect going on. So I stole the lamp from the living room which it's now has a bare spot because of that. Uh, but I do like the concept of the lamp on the dresser instead of the lamp in my corner. I got this from Walmart. This is one of the pot trivets that looks really nice and distressed, kind of like just a little tray. But I think I might want to use this for the open space here. And honestly, I've been using it already just to um, hold my glasses at night because I am notorious for, has anybody seen my eyeballs? I don't know where I sat them. So I use two glasses pretty consistently. So I just do this and set my headphones or AirPods or you can see whatever in there. I actually went to Walmart and got a new one of these lamp shade holders because the one that came with this Pottery Barn lamp um, was pretty nice and substantial. Like it had a really nice ball and everything on the top, but it was another like inch and a half higher and I felt it competed with the mirror a little too much. So I lowered that shade, just that extra inch or so. And I feel like it's pretty balanced. I really love the change from this setup. Um, I needed, it's so dusty. I'm having a hard time letting this go. I've had this for 10 years, I think. This preserved boxwood wreath is held up so well. I hope no one thinks I'm flippant with my decorating, just having to constantly make changes. Like I'm dissatisfied because this is my Florida house in 2015. That was the same setup I've had for 10 years. And so I think over time you do love pieces, but it's okay to make these few changes to refresh your space and do it resourcefully. This was very little to no money spent and I'm getting a new updated layered look. I got these ages ago thinking, oh, they're so like wispy and fun and I never use them. I don't know what to do with them. I went ahead and threw the wispy little things in my pots over here by my pantry. If it works for outdoor landscaping, you know, thriller and filler, why not?
oh, we have a good level of dirty going on. We've just watching babies, filing our taxes, which is so stressful. We finally got caught up. We had two to three years to do and it was, whoa. But I'm gonna go ahead and get eggs situated on the egg rack here. I like to cycle my eggs. I always do the oldest eggs on the bottom and work my way to the top of the rack. And eventually when it's full and I've used the eggs in the fridge, I'll either gift these fresh eggs from the rack. That's usually what I pull from. So I know it's the freshest of the fresh because I could get about three to four days of eggs on this rack. Um, I'm getting about a dozen to a dozen and a half a day with the new layers laying now. I pull today's eggs back to the bottom of the rack to start back over. I have been gifting eggs like crazy and I love to share and I've also been bartering for some fresh sourdough bread. I will show more about that here towards the end of the video. But I realized I had this extra rack made and I need to get it in because I need all the storage I can get. Um, I had an old cutting board in there previously that had me not include it, but I changed it out for my little chicken board. So I'm going to install that here soon. But let's go ahead and get some dishes done. It's so easy for daily tasks to just overtake us and feel overwhelmed by the day-to-day -day responsibilities. And I'm just trusting God through this phase of my life where I just feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm not getting it all done or getting enough done or I'm not cooking enough fresh. And I've just decided that I'm not going to stress about it. I am excited to share these beautiful loaves of bread. I'm not in that phase of my life to make sourdough and bake on my own, but I found a girl selling her beautiful loaves near me, which is a big deal because <laughs> there's not a lot available in my small town. But um, I'm making a breakfast strata that I got from Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. I took an extra sourdough loaf that I had in the fridge and cut it up and got my eggs included and just adding sausage and spinach and a bunch of egg, which I have a lot of, and making this breakfast strata to sit in the fridge overnight. When I do a lot of cooking that requires a lot of egg usage or even a little, I will bag them up and have them in the fridge to then bake off and I crush it up and I refeed these back to my hens. They love them and it helps them with calcium and hardening their shells. Do you see my dorky face? I'm super excited. I get to hop on the mower. We plugged it in and charged up the Kubota to get all these tall little mangy looking sprouts off the yard. And we got ourselves two new puppies. New farm dogs were something that we've had in the back of our mind as we're wanting to add more animals to our property. Um, something to protect the, the property and the livestock. You know, we prayed over these two that they would do their jobs well. These are two Anatolian Pyrenees crosses. The brown pup is our female. Her name is Samira, meaning guardian and protector. Our male is Ezra, meaning helper. We're doing what we know to train them the best we can. We're enjoying them. The next morning, we're getting our strata in the oven and tearing into it because we have a busy day of starting our camping trip for my son's 15th birthday. We hooked up the prowler. I'm driving behind as we drive to the campsite. Our kids are being super silly, just enjoying the getting away and the new environment. This dude is 15. I just can't believe it. Time flies so fast, but our choice nowadays is to give experiences over gifts. So the main event is paintballing. We packed up all the gear and we headed to a new paintball grounds that we got to enjoy. A little bit of victory. Got him. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm showing off here my happy face. I got shot in the forehead and we're all boasting about all of our bruises and battle wounds, but our campsite is gorgeous. More sourdough bread to enjoy over breakfast the next morning around the campfire. It was so sweet. It felt too quick. We had only three days of camping, um, but we're just enjoying our togetherness. <laughs> he almost disappeared. And to top it off, my daughter and husband kindly schemed to take me to a concert. So we loaded up our camper and the family and separated going different directions, my family going home and my daughter and I coming to a Brandon Lake featuring Doe concert, which I love my Doe. We need to remember that we are such a blessed people. I want to thank you for being here today. Please put a little emoji down in the comments to let me know that you've joined me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for some spring decorating.